ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದಾ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸಿ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಿಗೆ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದ ಬೂನ್ಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟೋಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಕರ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಅಸ್ಕೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ as soon as he beheld the grandfather of the world why you taking his young child for whom he had wept as one dead rushed towards dhatar with his waving locks his diadem and the garlands with which he was adorned why you having bowed three times fell at the feet of brahma when he who was conversant with the veda his arms decorated with dazzling bracelets touched the child as if in play thereupon the god sprung from the lotus merely by caressing the child revived him as seed that is watered beholding his son restored the wind god blowing auspiciously began to circulate in all beings as erstwhile and freed from obstructions caused by maruta all creatures became happy like lakes covered with lotuses over which an icy wind has ceased to blow then brahma who possesses the three pairs of qualities who is himself the essence of trimurti having his abode in the three worlds he who is revered by the gods said to the celestials in his anxiety to propitiate maruta know the truth i will import it to you for it is important hear all of you mahindra agni varuna maheshwara ganeshwara and others this child will carry out all you have to accomplish therefore grant him every boon in order to gratify his father thereupon the god of a thousand eyes delighted his brow radiant took off his garland of lotuses and spoke thus since the thunderbolt escaped from my grasp and shattered his jaw this child shall be called hanuman i shall bestow an excellent boon upon him from today he will be invulnerable to thunderbolts then martanda in his turn that blessed one who dispels the darkness said i will bestow a hundred part of my effulgence upon him and when he is able to learn the shastras i will endow him with eloquence thereafter varuna accorded him the following boon saying innumerable years shall pass at shall my nous and my waters never be used against him after this yama granted him the boon of invul- invulnerability and immunity to disease and said as a sign of my satisfaction i shall grant him the further boon of never being slain in a battle then the red eyed dhanada spoke thus this maze held by me shall protect him in combat thereafter the god shankara bestowing the foremost of favors upon him said i shall restrain my shafts from surrounding him, from wounding him then vishwakarma of the great car casting his eyes on the child said he will be invulnerable to the celestial weapons forged by me and his real and his life shall endure Finally the magnanimous Brahma spoke as none of my weapons like Brahmastra shall be able to harm him beholding the child enriched by the boons of the gods the four-faced lord guru of the worlds in his satisfaction addressed vayu saying your son maruti will be the terror of his enemies the support of his friends and invincible able to change his form at will he will accomplish all he desires and go wheresoever he pleases with unimaginable velocity in order to destroy ravana and gratify rama he will perform such feats of arms 
that will cause every being to tremble. These words specified Vayu as also the immortals and with the grandfather at their head, all departed to the place from where they had come. Vayu, the bearer of perfume, taking his son, returned home and telling Anjana of the bones he had received, went away. O Rama, receiving these favors which filled him with power and with the timidity natural to him, Hanuman resembled the ocean that is overflowing. In his intemperate ardor, that bull among monkeys shamelessly began to create trouble in the hermitages of the great rishis, scattering the spoons, jars, sacrificial fires, and heaps of bark used by those peace-loving sages, overturning and shattering them by such exploits, he who had been rendered invulnerable to all Brahmanic weapons by Shambhu distinguished himself. Knowing from where his power has derived, great rishis bore with him. Nevertheless, despite the warnings of his father Kesari, the son of Anjana exceeded all bounds, whereupon, highly indignant, those mighty rishis born in the line of Brigu and Angirasa cursed him, O Prince of the Ragus, without, however, given giving rein to their full anger and irritation. They said, Since in the knowledge of your power, O Plavangama, you do harass us by the adverse effect of our curse. You shall become unaware of your power, unaware of it for a long time. But when it is remembered by you, you shall be able to wield it effectively. Thereafter, the knowledge of his powers was taken from him in virtue of the great Rishi's words. And from that moment, Hanuman ranged the solitudes in a placid mood. At that time, Rikshārājās, full of effulgence, like unto the son, father of Wali and Sugriva, ruled over all the monkeys, and after a prolonged reign, that sovereign of the monkeys succumbed to the natural law of time, and having died, the ministers learned in the sacred formulas, installed Wali, in his father's state, and Sugriva as here apparent. Anuman and Sugriva were as one, and there was no difference between them. They loved each other so as do Agni and Anila, but when the quarrel between Wali and Sugriva arose, Anuman, on account of the Brahmin's curse, was unaware of his powers nor in the terror in which Wali had thrown him, did Sugriva call them to mind, O Lord. The curse of the Brahmins, having robbed him of that knowledge, the foremost of monkeys supported Sugriva as an ally in the fight, who resembled a lion but a great elephant subdues. For valor, energy, intelligence, strength, amiability, sweetness of disposition, knowledge of what is fitting and not fitting, steadfastness, skill, courage, and audacity, who can surpass Hanuman in the world? That Indra among monkeys, in order to acquire grammar, took refuge with the sun god, and in his spirit of inquiry that was without equal, he travelled from the mountain where he rises to the one where he sits. With a large book, a vast encyclopedia comprises the sutras, their commentaries, their meaning, and the synthesis. That prince of monkeys became an accomplished scholar, and none equaled him in the shastras, nor in the interpretation of the prasodi. In all the sciences and in the rules of asceticism, he is rivaled Brahas he rivaled Brahaspati. By your grace, he will become a very Brahmin conversant with the meaning of the most recent grammatical systems. Like unto an ocean eager to engulf the words, like unto Pavaka 
form account desirous of consuming them at the final dissolution who is able to challenge hanuman at second anpaka o rama on your account god's created hanuman and the other foremost of monkeys sugriva mainda vivida has also neela para tareya nala rambha gaja gavaksha gavaya sudhamstra abhojya atimukha and nala as also the bears with whose leading monkeys who were all created by the gods o rama i have answered your question fully i have just told you of hanuman's exploit accomplished in childhood agastya stale greatly amazed rama somitri the monkeys and the rakshasas and agastya addressed rama saying you have learned all that i have to tell now that we have beheld you and received your hospitality we crave leaving to depart hearing the words of the supremely pious agastya raghava with joined palms bowing to that great rishi said today the gods my parents ancestors and my family have been blessed by your holy sight you sancti- we are sanctified forever in the joy of my return this is what i have to ask for you it is for you in your affection to concede it i who came to establish the inhabitants of the city and the country in their personal duties desire your cooperation in the sacrifice that i now wish to perform o oh, you who belong to the virtuous will you though will you those asceticism eliminates all faults not assist me in these ceremonies but then shall i be welcomed by my ancestors and my felicity be complete do yourself all assemble here on this quest agastya and the other rishis of rigid penances answered let it be so and went to their hermitages having spoken thus all those ascetics departed in the order in which they had come raghava having reflected on the utterances of the sage was greatly astonished and the orb of the day having withdrawn behind the astam asta mountain he dismissed the monkeys and the kings thereafter that foremost of men having performed his evening devotions and the night having come retired to inner apartments thus come to the end chapter 42 of uttara kanda in ramayana namaste sharade devi kashmira puravasini tvam aham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehi me goodbye